Chapter 3 Green Lotus Seal This chapter is updated by Novels PL. In this world where martial arts were prized, strength was the king. However, becoming a martial artist is not so easy. First, you need to possess spiritual roots so that you can have the qualifications to cultivate. Second, you need to possess martial arts manuals. Only with the above two points can one become a martial artist. Spiritual roots were born naturally and the chances of them being born were extremely small. It was already good that one out of ten people could give birth to a spiritual root. In addition, martial arts manuals are precious treasures. Ordinary people may not be able to afford them even if they are extremely poor. Only if you join a martial academy or join a certain power will you be rewarded with martial arts manuals. For example, Wang Du's uncle had joined the Liu clan and became the Liu clan's steward. He had been rewarded with a low-grade martial arts manual, but even if it was the lowest grade, it was still a priceless treasure in the eyes of the ordinary people of the King Ning town. This was also the reason why most of the people in King Ning town were ordinary people. There were three major clans in Kinyuan city, namely, the Liu clan in the King Ning town, the Wang clan in Qingshan town, and the Lin clan in King Xuan town. The three great clans were in charge of three small towns, so the Liu clan was the heavens in the King Ning town. Of course, there were even more extraordinary powers. That was the city lord's mansion of Kinyuan city the King Ning town, King Shen town, and King Xuan town were only subsidiary towns within the jurisdiction of Kinyuan city. It could be seen how powerful the city lord's mansion was. Now that Qin Yun had killed Wang Du, he probably wouldn't be able to hide it for long. Once this matter was discovered by Wang Du's uncle, with the strength and wrist of his Liu clan's steward, the Misty Cloud Tavern would definitely be annihilated, and Qin Yun and Liu Yan Yun would also be directly wiped out. Therefore, the most important thing for Qin Yun right now was to increase his strength. Only when his strength became strong enough would he be able to deal with the next crisis. Therefore, Qin Yun did not think too much and sat down cross-legged on the steps in the courtyard. He began to cultivate Qin Yun's spiritual roots were the highest level 10 spiritual roots, and there probably weren't many in the entire Fengshan continent. As for cultivation techniques, let alone the fact that he was once the most beloved son of the immortal emperor, the martial arts manual he cultivated was naturally the highest, and it was called the primordial blue lotus technique. Therefore, Qin Yun's cultivation speed was very fast. In just two hours, he had already broken through the threshold of martial arts and stepped into the first level of the heavens of martial cultivators. This speed was already terrifying. It took Wang Du three years to break through to the first level of the martial cultivator realm, but Qin Yun only took an hour to do so. If this were to spread out, many people would probably be frightened to death. However, Qin Yun was not satisfied. Back then, with the primordial chaos immortal bone on his body, he had only used an incense stick to step into the ninth heaven of martial arts, and had already broken through to the martial master realm in an hour. In fact, there were different levels of martial artists. They were divided into five levels, martial artists, martial masters, martial sects, marquises, and martial emperors. Each level was divided into one to nine levels. It could be said that there was a huge gap in strength between each level, and it was extremely difficult for a martial artist to advance to the first level. The next step was to enter the Tao with martial arts, step into the Tao condensation, return to truth, and immortal transformation realms. These three realms were called earthly immortals, and they were extremely powerful. After that, he would cross the immortal tribulation and reach the true immortal realm. Then, he would ascend to the profound immortal realm, the Luo immortal realm, the immortal king realm, and the immortal emperor realm. As for the immortal emperor realm, it was said that there was an illusory supreme sovereign above him, but even Qin Yun had never seen him before. Back then, Qin Yun possessed the chaos immortal bones, and his talent could be said to be earth shattering. He entered the Tao at the age of three turned into an immortal at the age of six, and had already crossed the immortal dimension to become a true immortal at the age of ten. Even in the immortal dimension, he was. That was why it took him two hours to break through to the first level of the martial cultivator realm. Naturally, Qin Yun was not satisfied. Of course, he also knew that he had lost the chaos immortal bone now, 
and his talent was much weaker than before. He could only come step by step. He could not be in a hurry. Right at this moment, Kin Yun suddenly remembered that if he could obtain the mysterious power that had helped him break through the seal today, his cultivation would definitely increase greatly. But where did this power come from? Could it be that there were experts helping? No, that was the seal of his father, immortal Emperor Danhun. How could anyone undo it in this mortal continent? Then why? Could it be some peerless treasure? Thinking of this possibility, Kin Yun felt that it was more and more reasonable. Only this explanation made sense. Suddenly, Kin Yun's spirit flashed, as if he remembered something. He hurriedly reached out and touched his chest, but nothing came out of his chest. Kin Yun was suddenly shocked. He hurriedly opened his clothes on his chest. Sure enough, there was nothing there. Why is it missing? Kin Yun asked doubtfully. When he was eight years old, his father, immortal Emperor Danhun, brought him a seed from the primordial chaos. He always felt that this seed was very strange, so he hung it on his chest and mischievously carved his name on it. After being sealed and sent into the mortal world, this seed was still hanging around his neck. Only from this seed did Liu Yan Yun know Kin Yun's name. But now, this seed had disappeared. This made Kin Yun feel strange. Just as Kin Yun was disappointed, he suddenly discovered that there was a mark on his chest. By the moonlight, Kin Yun discovered that it was a cyan lotus mark. Could this cyan lotus mark be related to that mysterious seed? Kin Yun guessed, but he was puzzled. However, he was certain that the mysterious power that helped him break the seal today was most likely from this green lotus seal. Kin Yun studied for a long time but could not enter. Helplessly, he activated the spiritual energy in his body to surge towards the cyan lotus mark. However, at this moment, something wonderful happened. The azure lotus seal seemed to be alive after being poured with spiritual chi. It emitted a resplendent light. Vaguely, Kin Yun seemed to see a phantom of a green lotus flower enveloping him. Could this be the chaos green lotus? Kin Yun widened his eyes and looked at this scene in disbelief. Could this be the will of heaven? Kin Yun felt more and more mysterious. What were the martial arts manuals he cultivated? Wasn't it the chaos green lotus art? And that seed from before was very likely the seed of the chaos green lotus. Now, it had transformed into a seal and merged into his body forming the chaos green lotus seal. Everything seemed to be arranged by the heavens. It was too coincidental. What was the use of this primordial green lotus seal? To others, Kin Yun really didn't know how to use the green lotus mark, but to Kin Yun, who cultivated the primordial blue lotus technique, this was a supreme treasure. As long as he activated the azure lotus seal while circulating the chaos azure lotus technique, the spiritual energy he absorbed would become incomparably pure, and even his cultivation speed would become several times that of before. This as your lotus seal was a cultivation accelerator. Thinking of this, Kin Yun decisively circulated the primordial blue lotus technique. As he had guessed, a pure spiritual chi flowed continuously through the green lotus mark to Kin Yun's danshan and its absorption speed was more than three times as fast as before. This caused Kin Yun to be overjoyed in his heart. With this green lotus mark, he was afraid that he would soon be able to break through to the second heaven of martial cultivators. As a result, Kin Yun was completely immersed in the joy of rapid cultivation, crazily absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and the green spiritual energy in his dungeon became even more dense. Early in the morning, Kin Yun retreated from his cultivation and slowly opened his eyes to breathe out a mouthful of turbid air. I didn't expect that one night of cultivation would actually allow me to break through to the third level of the martial cultivator realm. It seems like it's time to cultivate a martial skill, Kin Yun said with a satisfied smile. If it wasn't for the Azure Lotus Seal's blessing, he would only be able to break through to the second level of the martial Dao in one night. Therefore, Kin Yun was very happy with this speed. In less than 10 years, he would probably be able to return to the immortal dimension again. I wonder what their expressions will be like when they stand in front of them again. It must be wonderful. Kin Yun sneered and stopped thinking about these things. Looks like it's time to cultivate martial skills. Kin Yun said to himself. Back then, he cultivated the sword Dao, and all of his martial skills were sword arts. But now, 
he didn't plan to do so. Although the Sword Dao was unrestrained and fierce, it lacked a sense of dominance, and the Sabah Dao happened to be the king of this world. Therefore, Qin Yun planned to cultivate both swords and swords, completely merging the sharpness of the Sword Dao with the tyranny of the Sabah Dao, and walk out of the limitless Dao that belonged to him. Chapter 4 Once Abba Sacrifice This chapter is updated by Novels PL. After breakfast with his sister in the morning, Kin Yun planned to start his Sabah training plan. Because there were many people in the Misty Cloud Tavern, Kin Yun did not plan to practice in the backyard. Instead, he came to the bamboo forest in the backyard of the King Ning town alone. There was an open space there, and very few people would normally ask about it, so it was just right for him to cultivate. Although Kin Yun's cultivation had been crippled, his past cultivation experiences and martial skill manuals were all recorded in his mind. Therefore, his swordsmanship cultivation could be said to have reached the peak of perfection, but his Sabah technique was completely unknown to him. Of course, Although Kin Yun had never practiced Sabah techniques before, he had also read a lot of secret manuals about Sabah techniques back then, some of which were the top secret manuals of Sabah techniques in the Immortal Dimension. However, Kin Yun did not intend to cultivate any high-grade Sabah technique manuals. Instead, he chose the most basic Sabah technique manuals, the basic 13 styles. If the foundation was not laid properly, then no matter how high the cultivation level of the Sabah technique was, it would only be a castle in the air. In the eyes of a true Grand Master, it was full of flaws and was unable to withstand a single blow. On the contrary, if your foundation is very solid, you will definitely be able to achieve twice the result with half the effort in your future cultivation. Gin Yun didn't have the money to buy a knife, so he casually took out a bamboo and made it into a bamboo knife. The 13 basic moves were very simple. They were hacking, chopping, lifting, provoking, stabbing. There was nothing mysterious about the 13 moves, but Gin Yun kept repeating them. Every move, every move, every move, every move, every move, every move, every move. Every move. Just like this, Kin Yun kept repeating these boring movements and waved them countless times until he was sweating profusely and even his arms were aching to the point that they were slightly swollen. Kin Yun glanced at the horizon. It was already sunset. Unknowingly, Kin Yun had been practicing for five whole hours. However, Kin Yun was very happy in his heart. After cultivating for this day, he had gained a new understanding of Sabah techniques. Nowadays, there was a self-evident domineering aura contained in a casual Sabah strike. It was no longer as stiff as before. This had to be attributed to Kin Yun's thousands or even tens of thousands of swings of his Sabah. Kin Yun pinned the knife to his waist and prepared to go back. However, at this moment, a strange voice sounded in Kin Yun's ears. Apostrophe O. Oh. Isn't this the most famous fool in the Kingling town? Why can't I find him? So he's hiding here. Why is he wearing a bamboo sabre on his waist? He's like someone else who is a Makatiman. He's not afraid that he'll laugh his teeth off. A rogue looking youth walked over with a face full of disdain and said mockingly. Gin Yun turned his head to look at the person who had arrived, and an icy coldness surged in his eyes. This person was called Wang Damao the son of the shopkeeper of the Apricot Blossom restaurant next door, Wang Hai. Because Wang Hai was jealous of the prosperous business of Misty Cloud Tavern, he always encouraged Wang Damao to bully Kin Yun. Wang Damao was originally an ignorant hooligan, and when he was unhappy, he would vent his anger on Kin Yun, causing him to suffer a lot. Fook, you've learned to stare. I must teach you a good lesson today. Seeing Kin Yun blaring at him, Wang Damao was instantly enraged. It's fine if he's bullied by other gangsters outside. Now, even a fool dares to stare at him. Isn't this daddy easy to bully? Kin Yun didn't care about Wang Damao's shouting. Now that he had regained consciousness and become a martial artist, Wang Damao was just an ordinary person. Even if he taught him a lesson, it was meaningless. However, Wang Damao's next sentence completely angered him. Ignore me, a fool is a fool. Oh right, your sister was overwhelmed by Wang Du yesterday, right? I heard your sister screaming from ten miles away yesterday. As expected of the number one beauty in the Kingling Town back then, she was a beach in her bones. I will gallop around on your sister one day, and her figure is simply amazing. Wang Damao said with a perverted expression. 
His gaze towards Kin Yun was filled with disdain. Enough. Kin Yun was instantly enraged as he coldly looked at Wang Damao, his eyes filled with killing intent. Yo, if you still don't want to say it, then I must say that your sister is a beach. She's a beach, so why don't you let others say it? You're courting death. Kin Yun was furious and shot out. Liu Yan Yan was Kin Yun's reverse scale. He allowed Wang Damao to call him stupid but he would never allow Wang Damao to insult his sister. Wang Damao was instantly shocked. Only then did he realize that Kin Yun today seemed to be different from usual. How could he be a fucking fool? He was simply a ferocious and crazy tiger. However, when he realized that it was not good, Kin Yun had already arrived in front of him. You have to pay the price for your open mouth. Killing intent surged in Kin Yun's eyes as he clasped his hands and punched Wang Damao's chest mercilessly. Wang Damao's chest caved in and his eyes popped out. He could only feel a giant hammer hitting his chest. His ribs instantly shattered and he flew backwards a few meters. Cough. Wang Damao spat out a mouthful of blood, his heart filled with horror. Fook. This fool let an immortal pill. Why is he suddenly not stupid, and he has become so powerful? Wang Damao cursed loudly in his heart. He now regretted looking for Kin Yun and even looked at Kin Yun with fear in his eyes. However, Kin Yun did not intend to let Wang Damao off so easily. To treat such a person who bullied the weak and feared the strong, only if he was truly afraid would he be able to remember it for a long time. Kin Yun walked towards Wang Damao step by step. His pace was slow, but every step was filled with killing intent. Wang Damao was shocked. Every step Kin Yun took was like stepping on his heart making him unable to breathe. He was so scared that he hurriedly shouted, Don't 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 come over. How could Kin Yun listen to Big Hairy Wang? He walked straight in front of him, and a cold smile appeared on Kin Yun's face. Wang Damao's hair stood on end. Only at this moment did he fear this fool from the bottom of his heart. Continue cursing? Kin Yun said coldly, No stop cursing. Wang Damao said in horror, Then do you still dare to have evil thoughts about my sister? Kin Yun smiled coldly, No, I don't dare, I promise I won't. Please let me go. Wang Damao hurriedly knelt on the ground and begged for mercy. He cowed out three times in a row, his face full of fear. Don't dare. That means I'm still thinking in my heart. Since that's the case, then I'll let this idea disappear completely. The cold smile on Kin Yun's face was finally extremely cold. No no. Wang Damao still wanted to explain something, but Kin Yun didn't give him any chance to explain any more. He directly pulled out the bamboo saber at his waist and immediately swung it. Ah! Wang Damao let out a miserable scream as he covered his crotch and collapsed to the ground. Blood flowed all over the ground. With a single slash, Two eggs fell. Kin Yun put away his bamboo saber and left without even looking at Wang Damao. However, just as he was about to leave the bamboo forest, Kin Yun suddenly burst into laughter. I didn't expect that the first saber I swung after practicing my saber would actually be to help people wield their sabers from the palace. 